Hey guys, it's uh, Tuesday, and I got seven sales today, uh, better than the whole weekend. Let me show you the first one. It's a vintage Kenwood ham radio. So I got this in a deal with uh, from my favorite estate sale company, uh, where I filled everything in a tote. I don't know if you've been watching my videos, uh, I've heard it a million times. I uh, filled up tote for 400 not one tote. Um, I had 11 totes, nine in the bed of my truck and two in the back seat. Now here's the front of it. If it, if I could have tested it and it worked, it would have been worth a lot more. If I recall right, it's been listed a while. Um, it does power on. That's as far as I could test it and I did disclose. Next up is a challenge, military challenge coin. So I just listed these, uh, not yesterday, but the day before. Um, I just found all these. Well, I have some already listed, but I found a big pile of them in a locker I recently purchased, which if, is in my latest storage haul video. So if you're into that and you want to see it, I'll probably put a link in the description below to that one. But this, let me pull this coin real quick, because these are just tossed in here, not really any organization. All right, so this is the 11th Transportation Battalion from Fort Story, Virginia. This is a commander coin given to troops for excellent service or whatever. Um, this sold for $29.99. Right, challenge coins are usually a pretty good bolo. Uh, be on the lookout if uh, you can get them cheap, $5 or less. Next up is a pair of six pound dumbbells so they're three pounds a piece they sold for 21.97 and i do not know where they are here they are so i've been looking those for those for only for the last i don't know five to ten minutes and they were in the bottom of the tote full of bags and clothes i have Right, next up is a pair of women's shoes. These are called, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to say uh, Vasque, I guess. I honestly don't remember these, and they don't smell like mold, so, and they look brand new. So I don't think these are from Crazy Cas Boys. Jeez, my memory's getting bad. Can't remember that far back. Anyway, uh, sold these for $59.97. Alright, next up is an album. It's a Larry Carell and Steve McLaugh McLaughlin record. So it's uh, j jazz. Um, the album name is Spaces. So either it's under L, M, or S. So let's try L first. I bet you it's under S though. Let's go straight. To S, which happens to have probably the most titles. Okay, there it is. Sold this for fourteen ninety-seven. I'm not sure what I call McLaughlin, but his first name's John. Next up is a Super NES game. This is the last game. This came out of the ninety-dollar locker that I bought last March. And this sold for twenty-one ninety-seven. Alright, next up is another album. Uh Cheech and Chong. Anybody old enough to remember them? Uh this was in the locker I bought back in November, where I've already passed the four hundred dollar mark I bought it for in albums. And this is just another album from that still got quite a few and this one's this is it yeah this record's pretty beat up um it would have been worth more it's more like the cover it's more beat up than the record though torn and missing part of it it's supposed to be a piece that goes around and i remember watching these when i was a kid Alright, so when you list stuff, you sell stuff. Uh, that was better than my entire weekend 
seven items uh, for 370 some dollars gross hey guys today is Wednesday and I have eight orders today uh, pretty good day yesterday and then let's start with showing you the first one This is a really good sale. Um, I bought this probably eight months to a year ago. It might have been six months ago. Honestly, don't remember. Uh, this is sterling silver and with turquoise on it. It's vintage, uh, made in China. Or it, I don't know if it's made in China, but it's definitely sterling. And it sold for uh, $229. And the buyer is international. It's going global shipping program. So that horse I had uh, listed for $249. And I had eight or nine watchers on it. And the other day I dropped it to $229. And immediately got a buyer within 24 hours. Next up is a record that I got from my guy a couple days ago. Actually, a couple weeks ago, but I just listed it. Uh, the other day, uh, Monday, and it sold yesterday, Tuesday. I paid five dollars for it, and it sold for thirty nine ninety nine. So it's an autographed album of Conway Twitty. All right, the next item I've had for probably a year and a half. Got it from uh, my favorite estate sale company, where I filled up my car down in Augusta for three hundred dollars when i had my car so this was just sitting on a shelf um that's what it is focus manual unit for the for a uh, old vhs camcorder this sold for full price of 129 dollars next up is uh one of these jurassic world dinosaurs Got this at Crazy Cas Boys, paid seven dollars, and this one sold for forty four ninety nine. So this is the only one that I found of this guy. It's a Diplosaurus. Next up is an album, uh, Steve Miller Band. Let's see. Children of the Future. This one sold for twelve ninety seven and came out of the four hundred dollar locker one. I'm at, while I'm at records, I got another one. Rolling Stones. This one sent an offer to Watchers. Came out came to be sixteen ninety, and somebody bought it. This is another one of those records uh, albums that came out of that four hundred dollar locker. Right, next up is this video game cartridge. Just sold. It's called Cat Tracks. It's for our Arcadia 2001 game system, which I've never heard of. This is pretty rough. This is another game that would be worth quite a bit if it was in really good condition. Um, you can see it has a little mold on it, which I'll wipe off. But this sold for $12.97. Alright, next up and lastly for today is a baseball card. All right, this is a uh, Derek Jeter. It's a die cut, and it's from 2001 Fleer. And this sold for 4.99 free shipping. And I will be using the new shipping method for cards under twenty dollars. Hey guys, today is Thursday, and before I pull orders, uh, I emailed the auction house yesterday to ask how much I uh, made. And so all that junk I sent up there uh, was came out to. What I'm getting is $521.08, so pretty cool. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure most of it might have came from that Auburn uh, photo that was autographed by the artist in the frame and those and that patio furniture set um, that I got in my locker. Uh, when they send me the check, I'm pretty sure it'll be itemized so I know how much I made on all this stuff. But anyways, pull orders. So uh, first thing going out is... <clears throat> it's a vintage letter opener and i don't it's, i've had this listed forever so i'm gonna need to put the phone down and search because it's probably one of these bins all right here it is it was, the, it was in the first bin i went through uh it says silver springs florida on it 
It's pretty light. I got it in a state sale for probably for a buck. It's been so long, I don't remember. Uh, but it's going to California. And I'm getting $14.97 for it. Next up is this Barbie I just listed yesterday. Or the day before. Uh, got it at Crazy Cats Boys and paid $7. It's the same day I found those uh, dinosaurs. The Jurassic Park stuff. And I was there a few hours. Not a few, like an hour and a half to two hours. Uh, trying to find more of this and the Jurassic Park toys. Because they were good sellers. This would have sold for more. But the plastic split on most of the package. And I got $52.99 for it. Next up is an NES game. So if you haven't seen my previous videos, um, I got a whole bunch of NES games in the system from my favorite thrift store guy who buys storage units. I gave him 300 bucks, and I've been selling these like crazy. This one sold for uh, $29.99. All right, next up is this thimble. So I purchased a bunch of thimbles uh, from a thrift store that I don't usually go to anymore because they started overpricing everything. Um, probably paid like five bucks for 20 or so thimbles that were mostly like pewter and metal. They've been really slow sellers, so um, probably won't buy them again. But this sold for $12.97. All right, next up is our record. Let's see this came out of the $400 locker and it would have sold for way more than what I sold it for if it was in really good condition but it wasn't uh, but I'm happy with this price uh, this is Pink Floyd's The Wall see the covers in pretty beat up shape and the record had some issues too but it wasn't as bad as the cover uh, this sold for $49.99. Alright, next up is a spoon that I just listed. So I think I underpriced it. Couldn't really find any comp. Well, actually I did find a comp. I priced it the same as that one sold for. Um, so I don't think I overpriced it. It's just a spoon. Um, it says Playboy on the back. So I don't know what that means. If that's associated with uh, Hugh Hefner or any way. Uh, but this sold for $14.99. Free shipping. Alright. And finally for today. I guess I need to put those cards back. I sold a pendant. It's too big to go in the normal jewelry uh, little totes I have. But yeah, this is a Pirate to the Caribbean pendant, or like a like a neck. It was on a chain for like a, a special pass or whatever. Uh, but this sold for some a ten percent off watchers to watchers for thirteen dollars and seventeen cents. Hey guys, it's a uh, Friday, and yesterday wasn't really a good sales day. I had seven orders for roughly a hundred dollars or so. Um, good news is the carrier from you ship finally picked up the chairs I sold last week. Anyway, let's pull some orders. First one is an album by a group called Loudness. I'm guessing it's heavy metal or something. It came out of the the locker I paid 400 for. Yeah, so I skimmed right over it because I was looking for a red border record. But this one sold for $21.99. Sold another Lionel car. So this one is in one of these white boxes. I think this one is it, maybe? Yeah, this one. It was priced at $24.99. Sent an offer to watchers for $19.99. Somebody bought it. Next up is another NES game. Nothing to get excited about either. Uh, Monopoly. Sold for $8.99. Sold a brooch for 
this other I had two of these Noah's Ark and whoa I sold some coffee this sold for $13.99 Sold another NES game, Mighty Bomb Jack, right here. This one sold for $9.99. And finally sold a pamphlet, Learning Radio Telegraph Code. So, you know, Morse code, basically. This is from 1970. Uh, I think I sold it for $12.97. That's a new development. The lights just went out. All right, so I've been hanging out for about 10 or 15 minutes, hoping it'd come back on, and it hasn't. So I'm about to leave, and I just realized the gate is electric, so hopefully it's it runs on emergency power like the uh, all these exit lights. I don't know if those are on batteries or what, but I might be stuck in here. Looks like they opened it. Thank you. Hey guys, uh, today's Monday and let's pull some orders. Uh, first off though, I ran a sale over the weekend off all media, 25% um, off. And then I also ran another sale on anything I had listed more than a year for another 25% off. So there's quite a few things I sold that were under 15 bucks. Um, some I'm probably barely going to make a couple bucks off of, um, but I'm glad to get rid of them. Um, but I, the, th the cheap things, I'm just going to pile up here on the table and show you all in one quick clip, and then I'll show you everything else. All right, y'all, i got uh, 19 things here sold for under $15, uh, except for one item, and I'll explain why. So, Rosie Barbie. Um, this one's kind of cool. It's a He-Man sword. So that's why it sold. I had it priced at like $18 at one time and somebody finally bought it 25% off. This came out of a locker. Commodores. Uh, they're like they're called an anthology series. And then all these records. Um, Genesis. I, if you've been watching my videos, you saw I just picked that one up recently. This sold for under 10. World of Sound in 1967. Aerosmith. Uh, the record's pretty shot. That's why it sold so cheap. Tina Turner, this was just a record at a price of 10 It's not a really good seller for me, just because I like to sell over $10 records. It's not a, it's, and it's not. And then this is a single for Timbaland and Magoo. Got that out of a locker a long time ago. Um, that locker that came out of was kind of a bust. There's a bunch of records in the background, and I could see some of them look like hip-hop and vintage hip-hop as well. Um. But most of them were singles, which sucks. So singles don't sell very well unless it's somebody like a uh, Tupac or B.I.G. or whatever. Uh, this one came out of a locker, and it's gonna have to go in the box because it has this thing. So I'm probably not gonna make any money off that. It should still go first class, but I only got 13 bucks for it. Um, this VHS, you know, got it for probably for 50 cents. Um, this was from a whole bunch of thimbles I bought. These were like the leftovers. Sold for 11 This has been in my store probably two years. Uh, I saw a video about parting out game pieces. So I bought this Monopoly, parted it out. It, it was okay. It's not worth my time though. Um, these two went to the same buyer. So it came out to about 15 or 20 I think for both of these together. It's complete first series of Dilbert and then Swordfish. Um, these, I don't remember where I got them for. I know I didn't spend a lot, so uh, I think they were, I sold them for 12. And these two pens were the two different buyers. And this thing, I had it priced for $24.99 and it sold for $18. At least it's going close by to Florida, but it's still going to cost between 8 and $10 to ship. So that's why I included it, because it's not going to make me any money. And then all these pins. I bought a huge lot of these pins from my guy. 
what a year or two ago i can't even remember so finally sold some of these um that was a bad purchase i think that was like 12 bucks for all those all right i got all the uh cheap stuff packaged let's do the stuff for 15. Uh, first item is a vintage craftsman doweling jig so if you don't know what a dowel is it, they used to put pieces of wood together uh, to make like furniture and stuff so this is a dig a jig so it attaches to the piece of wood and then you use a drill to drill the size hole you need and this sold for nineteen dollars and thirty three cents and will go in a regional a box because it's pretty heavy and that jig I got at the estate sale company I was talking about where I fill up all these totes for for 400 bucks. Uh, that was just one thing that was thrown in the tote. Uh, the next item is one of these purses I just listed from the most recent locker I bought. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, I do have it up with this purse in it. Uh, this is a coach purse sold for $44.99. And it sold within a couple of days, so either I didn't price it high enough, or it's just because it's really good condition. All right, next up is a plush. It's a Curious George. I just went ahead and pulled it because I wasn't sure where it was. Um, but this sold for $19.99. It's another record. Uh, this one I got in my locker I paid $400 for. It's a uh, Motley Crew, and it was 25% off. And if I can find it, I'll tell you how much it is. It's probably the last one. No, not the last one. Close. Uh, the Shot the Devil album sold for 37 38. All right, next up is some vintage plates. I know I got these out of a locker, but I don't remember which one. The ones that were just mediocre, I don't really remember. Um, they're they're um, coasters for tea coasters, I think that's what you call them. And these are Losh Douche. Uh, there's locks of Scotland plates made in England. And these sold for $17.99. Hey, so if you're new to the channel, I appreciate you being here. I just want to let you all know that um, I do free shipping almost most everything I sell. So the prices I quote you are with shipping. Now you also factor in the cost of shipping and the price. So something selling for $39.99 on eBay, free shipping, that's what I'll sell it for. And unless there isn't any, then I'll go higher. Um, and if there's a lot, I'll usually price it a little bit lower but that's how i price stuff uh, a lot of times it works out but sometimes it'll go to the west coast and it lose out a few bucks and depending on the weight um yeah you don't you lose that on a lot but i learned my lesson on most of the heavy stuff now i usually ship fedex and i was putting a surcharge in there for like hawaii alaska puerto rico and i don't think that box is there anymore um i haven't listed something heavy in a while so i'm not sure but anyway, let's get to the next item. I just wanted to add, if uh, you like what you're watching and you're not a subscriber, I'd appreciate you subscribing. Um, I'm starting to really enjoy doing these videos, showing you what I've sold and, and what I find in lockers. Um, but So if you like that content, uh, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, thanks. So the next item is this helmet I just listed a few days ago. So um, this is a novelty helmet. It's not even DOT approved. Um, I got it out of my latest locker i paid 800 no this came out of the locker in november i paid 400 for um, i'm already in the profit on that locker but you can see this is well-loved helmet uh it does have a headset built in so i'm not sure if it works but this sold for 44.99 and it's not too terribly heavy so but it'll probably go fedex all right next up is another album uh, Miles Davis, pretty sure it's towards the front. Let me check these since I'm already there. Okay. Uh, this was in the 25% off sale I ran over the weekend. 
Yeah, I got quite a few Miles Davis still. These are just the ones that I probably had overpriced. So this one sold for uh, $18.73. Next up is a Fenton piece. So I got all these Fenton from uh, my guy. Um, paid $3 a piece for all of these. As, and this bell sold for $21.99. It's hand painted. Alright, next up is another Miles Davis record. Uh, this was a good one. Um, it was originally priced for $69.99. And then when I did the 25% off, I got a couple watchers on it. And then I sent an offer uh, out for $39.99. Uh, it's a double LP. Next up is a lot of autographed books um i thought it was only three let me look at the picture real quick but it's faith hunter uh i bought a box of books at auction i noticed they were all autographed there's nothing super cool in there but i won the auction for 20 bucks i'm already sold a set of books for 30 so this is all profit and this is what's left these ones here but I'm pretty sure I put all six of these together. I just have to look at the picture. All right, so it is all six books. The eBay wouldn't load until I got to the table. All right, next up is something I've had for a while, which I'm glad to get rid of it because it's gonna taken up some space. Um, I don't even remember where I got it, to be honest with you. It's that yellow uh, black and white television. So, I couldn't find any yellow listings for that of that TV when I listed it, like, two years ago. So, I had it priced, like, at 100 bucks. Um, so, I've dropped the price over the year or two. Uh, then, you know, the 25% off sale came along, and somebody bought it uh, for fifty two forty eight. But the thing is super clean. I don't think they really used it. Next up is a retail arbitrage purchase. Um, and I've had this for a long time also. That's why it's sold on sale. Uh, this is Thor Ragnarok and Korg. The, well, it's from Thor Ragnarok. It's Korg and the Grandmaster. Uh, the box ain't excellent shape, so it's probably one reason why it took so long to sell. Um, I think I paid 4 or $5 for it at Walmart. I don't normally do retail arbitrage, but if I go to the store, I'll go look at the clearance stuff and yeah, saw this. So, picked it up. Alright, next up is a record I just listed recently. Um, this set, George Harrison, a three album set. Sold for $32.99. So, this was the 25% off sale, too. Alright, next up is a Lionel thing. Uh, this wasn't on sale, but somebody asked if I'd take 44 and I had a price for $61.99. I said no, but I'll take 45 And they took it. So it's one of these cantilever signal things. I don't have to look at the picture because I didn't realize I have two different ones. Alright, so they are the same, just different packaging. So I got the right one. Sold for $45. All right, next up is a pair of cleats. So I bought, bought a bunch of Adidas cleats at Ross in 2019 for like, they were marked down to like $4 or $5 or something. But they were the large sizes like 13 or 14, which I'll never buy those again. But anyway, they sold for $29.99. Um, these were what was left over, about the 10 pairs I bought. And then 2020 came around. Nobody was buying cleats, so it's 21 now, and these ones sold, size 14s. All right, next up is a 5x7 picture frame. It was in a, one of these lockers I bought. Actually, it's not 5x7, it's smaller, so which is good, because it's going to be cheaper to ship. Uh, this sold for $17.97. All right, so this is kind of funny, so... Um, I decided to go through this first to find the record before I filmed it because I didn't want to dig through it on camera. 
And the last 78 I sold was the very first record, right? So I didn't even look at the first record. I just kept scrolling through. I'm like, where the heck is it? Uh, so I had to look at the picture, make sure I was looking for the right thing. And sure enough, it was the very first record again. Um, did not put that there. I just think it's funny. Uh, and this sold for 16.68, I think. Guys, uh, that's all the sales for the whole week. I uh, appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content to be notified about it. Um, and hit the like button. It really helps the channel. Gets more eyeballs on my stuff. Uh, the next video, I should have another locker video out maybe tomorrow. Or the, the day or two after this post. So I'm going to try to get this video up tonight, which is Monday. Uh, but I got quite a bit to do. So we'll see. Uh, have a good one and see you in the next one. Thanks.